Hello there. Welcome to the PowerPoint screencast of the digestive system. So because there's so many uh, videos and photos and they're really information heavy uh, for this week especially, I'm just going to kind of really give you a brief overview here in this in this screencast. So when you go, you're not going to get most of your studying done from here. It's It's got a bunch of keywords and stuff, but really the, the majority of your information you're going to get this week is going to be derived from looking at those photos and looking at the, uh, watching the other video. All right, so um, your gastrointestinal tract, or you, you, you may hear it called an alimentary canal or gut, basically, is a tube that starts at one end and it empties at the other end, right? And a lot of animals have this kind of a one-way flow through digestive system. We have a lot of other organs that are associated with it, but really it's just a tube with a couple of things attached. Um, the processes of digestion, when you think of digestion, mostly people think of just like the food maybe breaking down, right? Uh, and that's part of it. That's That would be like mechanical or chemical digestion, but there's a lot of other stuff. So ingestion, right here in the middle, uh, ingestion is eating it, you put it in your mouth, and you immediately start mechanically digesting and chemically digesting right there. Uh, you chew it up, you, you get saliva on there, uh, you mash it around, and then you're going to propel it down your down the tube, right? So these aren't in order, in order necessarily. I mean, ingestion comes first and defecation comes last, but they're all mixed in, as you'll see over the next couple of pages. Propulsion is just moving along. Chemical digestion is accomplished through the addition of enzymes to, to actually uh, disconnect the, the monomers or the parts of the molecule. Uh, or like, for instance, for with bile. Bile is what's called an, uh, an emulsifier. An emulsification is just splitting up the a fat, like maybe a big blob of fat, into a bunch of little particles of fat so that the enzymes can get to it. Mechanical digestion is chewing and your stomach does a lot of, uh, you know, mixing and your intestines will do a lot of, of what's called segmentation. They'll squeeze it and mix up the parts. And the real key you want here, the, the real goal is, is that, uh, what is that, fifth step? Uh, absorption. So you want to absorb uh, that uh, those nutrients, that's what you're after it for, right? You're uh, you're trying to get uh, actual calories so you can keep breathing and your heart can keep beating and you can move around. And you you're built, you're made of of food, right? I mean, they say you are what you eat. You you're literally made of stuff you've eaten. You've deconstructed it and reconstructed it back into you, but it's still made of the same stuff. And then at the very end, whatever you whatever's left over, you get rid of. Uh, there's a whole. <clears throat> whole ecology of organisms that live off of other organisms feces right you probably heard of dung beetles so just because you're defecating it doesn't mean that it's not useful to uh, some other organisms out there and you know bacteria and so on all right so let's go to the next slide hopefully all right, there it is uh, again I'm just gonna kind of follow through here so I'll start at the oral cavity uh, your tongue your teeth salivary glands are in there that squirt the uh, squirt enzymes and you uh, and you really and you really chew it up and at the end you you swallow that what they call a, a bolus of food you right you you gulp that down it travels down the esophagus which uh, basically is just propulsion uh, to the stomach and the stomach's a, a big storage area uh, you a lot of times people think of the stomach as being sort of this main digestive organ but it's really just kind of a storage place it does do some stuff uh, you have like some enzymes that are secreted and, and famously acid is secreted uh, and you mix it up and then at, after a while you'll start to squirt that food which is now called chyme c-h-y-m-e into the small intestine which is a really long 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 tube right it's, it's a, a 20 something feet long uh, in total if my memory serves me i may be off uh, you don't have to know that number anyway so lots of stuff going on in there. Like I mentioned earlier, peristalsis and segmentation. Um, peristalsis is the movement in one direction, and segmentation is kind of like breaking it up and mixing it back and forth in the tube. Most of your absorption of nutrients takes place here, and you really reabsorb a lot of water, right? You'll you'll you drink liquids, but you also are secreting you know saliva, which you swallow, and there's stomach liquid, stomach juice, and pancreatic juice, and a bile and the, the intestines are producing stuff. So you're going to want to reabsorb most of that water. 
And as you can see, uh, you get secretions from the uh, liver, gallbladder, and, uh, and pancreas as well. And then the large intestine basically is bat and clean up here, uh, so to speak. You're going to get back uh, the, all the water you're going to get back, so you create a fairly dry uh, fecal matter. And uh, you actually make some, some, uh, some nutrients there. So there's some bacteria that live in your, in your colon. There's like 500 plus species of them or 700 species, some big number uh, that most of them just kind of, you know, live off of what you're getting rid of. But some of them give back, right? They'll give you back some vitamins A and K, uh, which you then absorb. Uh, they also produce some gases, which you then get rid of. Uh, let's see here. What have we got? These are uh, just some of the... Uh, Accessory uh, organs, uh, salivary glands, which produce lipase and amylase. Now, lipase tells you what it does, it, and I'll, I, there's more on the next page. Um, amylase uh, digests starch. So it's they, I've never tried this, but I've been told that if you put a cracker or something in your mouth, a piece of bread, and you let it sit there, kind of gross and getting mushy for five, ten minutes, it'll start tasting sweet. Now, I don't really want to leave a piece of bread in my mouth that long, so I'm willing to believe them. Uh, your hepatic portal system is an important structure. We learned about that in the circulatory system. This is how you get those nutrients out of your uh, out of your gut uh, to the place where they're mostly processed, which is your liver. So that's the next stop for those nutrients after you after you absorb them. Uh, in the liver, the liver cells are called hepatocytes, and they they are the ones that will process those nutrients. They can build proteins. They can uh, you know, store uh, other um, molecules. And then they also produce, like I said, an emulsifier called bile. Bile is being produced pretty constantly and shipped out of your liver where it's stored in your gallbladder, which is that little bag kind of underneath that right lower portion of your liver. Um, and it's not an enzymatic uh, substance. It's just a, you know, it breaks, breaks down the fats into smaller droplets is all. Uh, pancreas does a lot, all right? Pancreas produces enzymes that digest all of the different nutrients in your food. So you've got pancreatic enzymes that digest protein and starch and sugar and fat and nucleic acids and so on. And lastly here, and you probably want to get a screenshot of this uh, this particular page because this is the all of the enzymes that are listed on the last page of your lab book and kind of a general uh, you know, view of what they break down. So amylase, starch, lipase, lipids, uh, fats. Pepsin is a specific enzyme that breaks down proteins. Um, hydrochloric acid, uh, people think it's there to dissolve your food, kind of. Like, oh, pour acid on it and it'll digest it. But it's not really the case. Its main purpose is twofold, and that is an antibiotic. Uh, bacteria don't like living in acid. A lot of things don't. And, uh, and it also activates this, uh, that, that molecule there called pepsinogen. Pepsinogen is a precursor to pepsin. So you switch on, peps, you switch on pepsinogen, it becomes uh, pepsin. You can also denature proteins, pH, like acidic stuff will, will alter some proteins. Uh, then we have bile. Bicarbonate is, uh, you, you secrete that into your small intestine to raise the pH back up. Your stomach works good at a low pH and your intestines work good at a more of a neutral pH. Uh, trypsin's another uh, protein uh, digester. There are, there's this sort of broad category of things called brush border enzymes, which is many, many different types of individual enzymes. And they're produced uh, by the, uh, the small intestine itself, which uh, they call it a brush border because under a microscope it looks real fuzzy. And that's because of the uneven surface of those cells due to their microvilli, those tiny little cellular extensions. Lots of other enzymes are out there, which we're not, you know, there's a list a mile long, which you could get into, but uh, we're not. So now notice in red there at the bottom. Seriously, see the videos, photos for lots of detail left out here. This is not a, nearly even an approach at a complete coverage of, of the materials. Kind of just an overview, like I said. But there is lots of information in those videos, and there's lots of videos. Thank you, uh, and uh, I'll see you next time on the 
same channel for the next thrilling episode.